Hello everybody, welcome back to the Designer's Recourse. This is Daniel Hall from Janito Studios and today we're going to be talking about how to flip an object in Unreal Engine 5. Now, the first thing we need to do is define, by the way, this uh, environment that you're looking at is from my upgaming game, Limerick, and it is very much in progress. So if you're like, what is going on here? That's okay. It's supposed to kind of look like that because I'm still working on it. But uh, you can see that I have this stairwell over here. We need to define what we mean by flipping an object, right? So uh, if I take this stairwell, let's see, we've got the grid on. I'm going to pop that down to 50. And if I bring it over here to the, whoops, let me copy it and paste it <laughs> instead of just bringing it over. If I were to bring it over to the other side, right, I, I want to flip this to where I have a stairwell on the other side. But as you can see, right, I, uh, you know, I can sit here and I can spin this bad boy all day and... Uh, because of the pivot point we're spinning, for one thing, all out of control. But no matter how I spin it, I'm, I'm not going to get it to orient in the direction uh, that I need. <laughs> we're all over the place with these stairs. Man, like this four staircase is like, why? Why am I here? What is my purpose? Um, so needless to say, what we need to do, right, is just flip this thing horizontally. I think we all get that. Now, <clears throat> I want to I wanna show you something. Um, and I'm actually going to pull away from the staircase uh, first to, to demonstrate this when it works and then show you what happens when it doesn't work. And uh, then we're going to jump over to Blender, uh, which I really should say this, this is about Blender and Unreal Engine 5 because I kind of assume if you're working in UE5 and you're watching a video like this, there's a very good chance that you're using Blender uh, as your modeling program. And I highly recommend it that you do, by the way. But what you might be tempted to think is, well, hey, couldn't I just set the scale right, to like negative one on one of these axes. And that would especially make sense because, for example, so again, like I said, I'm, I'm not uh, entirely sold on some of what I'm doing on the floor here, kind of going for an art deco thing. Uh, I'm going to keep working on it. Um, but this this dude right here, which is just kind of this, this decorational beam, right, um, that is here on the floor, uh, right here you can see the scale is normal. And then over here, right, I needed him to be in the reverse direction. And so I just set the X to a scale of negative one and it works perfectly and smoothly and it looks good and, and everything's great. However, when you start to get into complex geometry like this, I discovered something. And just so you know, this staircase, right? So I modeled it in Blender and uh, I've set it to use complex collision as simple. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about there, that might be worth a completely uh, separate video. But let's go ahead and copy and paste. I'm going to bring it over and I'm going to, by the way, if you want to change one of the three numbers right in your scale, you got to unlock first. Otherwise, it'll scale everything together, which usually is what you would want. So I'm going to skip my, set my X scale, excuse me, to negative one. And I'm going to pull this bad boy, bad boy over and uh, that, that's pretty lined up. And I'm going to go ahead and just jump in and simulate this really quick. So over here in the corner, da, 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 da. I'm going to walk, 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 and come over here to the stairwell. So first, let me show you the stairwell, a stairwell. Dude, what is wrong with me? I cannot speak the English language today. Um, if I come over here to the stairwell that I modeled in Blender, you can see everything is working just fine. Life is good. And so it'd be easy for you at this point to be like, hey, one and done, it's all over. Oh, but it is not. We'll go around to the other. I could have walked down it from that side, but for some reason I felt like walking all the way around to, uh, to build your tension. Okay, watch what happens here. As we try to begin walking up this stairwell, we start running into things and eventually we just can't get up this, this guy. Uh, look, this is one of those classic examples of, I don't know what's going on, but I know that it's going on and I can't get up it. And so instead of just trying to do this within Unreal Engine 5, we're going to need to flip this object in Blender. So first lesson that you learn here is, yes, some objects you can just flip in Unreal Engine 5 by, you know, going into your scale, uh, making sure that you unlock the padlock, right? And whatever uh, axis it is that you need to flip on, you set it to negative one instead of positive one. So that certainly can be done and, you know, works for some objects. If I went back in the simulation, you'd see I can walk over both of these just fine and nothing weird happens. But other things, and it seems to be related to the complexity of the geometry, that doesn't always work. So just a quick reminder of if I want to flip this guy, how would I do this 
in Blender. And uh, let's see, there we go. We had to alt tab really quick. So I'm in Blender. Here I've got my uh, my mesh, which you can see is actually made up of a lot of uh, different meshes that all use exactly the same material, blah, 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 all this kind of stuff. Um, and so what I'd want to do first is I'm going to select all of the objects, right, that I'm wanting to flip. And this is where you've got to pay careful attention because you can make a mistake, as I did, and got extremely frustrated at first. If I select all my objects, you can hit the Control-M shortcut and then hit X along the X-axis to mirror things which kind of looks like it has worked, except for some reason, right, I've like completely flipped over and all this other kind of thing. And what you may not be noticing here is in the case of this stairwell, what has happened is like it's slightly off kilter and it's just a mess. Um, and man, I started getting really frustrated. But on top of that, there are other issues. That it's just, this is not the way to do it. So let's undo that. And instead, it's as simple as this. When you go to mirror using the control M shortcut, you absolutely got to make sure you are in edit mode and not in object mode. And again, just a reminder, of course, you use tap. I probably need to add something to my camera that shows like my keyboard commands that I'm using, don't I? Um, but in any case, you're going to just tab in to edit mode. And now you're going to go ahead and uh, hit control M. You're going to hit X, right? So you hit Control M first, that gets you into mirror, then you hit X to flip it along that X axis or whichever one you're mirroring along, right? In my case, it's the X axis, and there you go. However, you're still not done. Because, uh, by the way, if you, if you don't do this, what I'm about to, to show you is just a really good force of habit thing to do in Blender before you export for use anywhere or ex you know save it in general, but definitely if you're trying to export to use it in UE5. Uh, you need to come up here to your overlays, right? Otherwise known as the two orbs of power. And you're going to want to drop down on this and click on face orientation. What this shows you is, hey, are my faces oriented in the proper direction so that if it's a one-sided material, and forget if it's one-sided material or not, your faces need to be oriented in the proper direction when you export. All right, and if things are red, that in fact means that things are not well. And so we're gonna wanna fix this. So we are gonna again go into edit mode with everything selected and hit shift in, right? And just like that, now all our faces are oriented in the right direction and we are ready to export this model and use it. This, you know, always with a tutorial it takes a little bit longer, but look, this is as easy as I'm undoing. All right, if I just open my model, it is as easy as this right here. I select everything, I go into edit mode, control M, flip on the X axis, hit enter, hit shift N, tab back out, and then I'm going to check my face orientation and I'm done. Right? So it does not take any length of time once you get it down. So coming back into Unreal Engine 5, we're not going to look at re-importing it. Instead, just because I need to show you uh, all of my hard work, I am going to go ahead and it's actually two models that make up this assembly, right? The railing and then also the stairs themselves. And I'm going to set whoop, set the grid back to 500 and let you see what it looks like when it's all said and done. And, and I can't see what I'm clicking. There we go. And one, two, pull it up. And there you go. You can see that when it's all said and done, you can end up with that nice flip geometry. And indeed, if I were to go over and walk up this, it would work just the way that the other one does. But it's very important, of course, to check your normals. Uh, make sure that, um, you know, all your UVs are oriented in the proper direction. And we're just going to walk up this stairwell. It's just so cool, man. Having fun working on this environment. Got a long way to go. But, hey, we've laid a, laid a cool foundation so far. Very excited about that. So that's it for today. Just looking at how to flip an object in Unreal Engine 5. You may have noticed that I am showing off some pretty fancy uh, Limerick merchandise. You can't see it. Can't. There he is, kind of, sort of, maybe. But hey, if you're interested in that kind of thing, you can check out the Janito Studios Merchandise Store. Link will be in the description below. And again, thank you for joining me for the Designer's Recourse videos every single week talking about how to get things done in Unreal Engine 5, Blender, Substance Painter, tools just like that. See you next time.